First Alert 5 weather. Welcome back. We have got fog, mist, and drizzle across parts of the city tonight. 34 is the current temperature. Humidity quite high at 88%. It'll go even higher than that over the weekend. Probably you're at 38 degrees. Cloudy skies. There's your upslope component. East breeze right now at 8 miles per hour. All right, let's do some snow and tell. This is your big weather story. I gave you the first alert on this storm system one week ago tonight, and here it is. It's going to track across the Colorado New Mexico border over the weekend. Going to bring in snow and wind on Sunday, so I think we'll have some blowing snow issues across parts of the Pikes Peak region on Sunday. Tomorrow, the snow really starts to crank up during the afternoon hours into the evening, and again, there's a convective element to this snow. It's going to be fast and furious around here. Going to come down in a short period of time. I think snowfall rates one to two inches per hour. Certainly not out of the question from tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night. Some areas could land four to six inches of snow before midnight tomorrow night, then still more on the way. That'll continue through Sunday morning. Then here's what happens. Midday on Sunday. Here comes that north wind. That'll shut off snowfall production from downtown Colorado Springs into Pueblo. Always keep in mind that north wind is a drying component as it pushes down the Palmer Divide, but the snow is going to continue to fly northern El Paso County into Teller County into Sunday night and maybe lasting into early Monday morning as well. Here's how much snow we get. Pueblo, you get the short end of the deal, one to three inches, two to four across eastern Fremont County. This is definitely going to be a Pikes Peak region snowfall. Take a look at some of these impressive totals by late Sunday night. Black Black Forest into Monument anywhere from 15 to 21 inches of snow in Woodland Park and parts of Teller County up to two feet of snow, certainly possible. The wets and sand grays will get some pretty good snow, but certainly nothing compared to what we'll have here across the Pikes Peak region. North end of the springs up around Briargate and Northgate, 8 to 12 inches possible. You can really see that sharp gradient in totals between north and south uh, from downtown Colorado Springs out to the airport, out to Schriever, anywhere from four to seven inches of snow possible by late Sunday night. Wind is going to fire up around here on Sunday. Not the really blizzard uh, wind speeds across the area, but we'll see winds from 25 to 35 miles per hour at times. That will create that blowing snow and create some very hazardous travel across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Worst travel times with this system late tomorrow afternoon through late Sunday night. Blowing snow in some areas on Sunday. I still think I-25, I-70, maybe Highway 24 could get shut down due to the intensity of the storm system. Wind and snow, not a good combination. Here's how your finally Friday went down. 43 in Pueblo this afternoon, Colorado Springs topping out at only 37, well below our average high of 51 degrees. Outside tonight, here's what we've got out there, mainly 20s and 30s across the viewing area right now. Low temperatures tonight dropping back into the 30s across a good chunk of the News 5 viewing area. Temps tomorrow not going very far. We're going to be in the low 30s across a good chunk of the viewing area, upper 30s from Pueblo south, and it's going to stay chilly around here on Sunday. Feeling colder than 32 on Sunday with that strong north wind kicking. Again, gusts from 30 to 40 miles per hour across parts of El Paso County. That's why we're going to crank it up to a four on the storm impact scale on Sunday. One of those storms where you just need to stay in and stay safe. You don't want to battle a storm like this. It's just too dangerous. But keep in mind, storms like this are really part of our normal climate. We need uh, storms like this to suppress our fire danger. You get a, a real rough commute early Monday morning, then sunshine and melting. Another fast moving system coming in late on Tuesday. Pueblo outdoor weekend plans down the tubes, but the upside is you'll get beneficial more moisture, rain and snow showers tomorrow, snow early Sunday, but once that north wind develops, snow ends and it's just windy and cold. It'll feel colder than 38 with that north wind blowing, so if you have to get out, you'll certainly want to dress warmly. Weaker system late Tuesday, then you get a spring break by next Friday, a high back into the 60s. It can change fast this time of the year. Canyon City wet and white through Sunday, two to four inches accumulating when it's all said and done. Melting on Monday with plenty of sunshine. Another quick shot of showers late on Tuesday, then you get a Nice warming trend Thursday into Friday. Woodland Park, you will take a direct hit. It'll be a shovel buster with 16 to 24 inches of snow by late Sunday night. Roads, of course, become slick, slushy, icy, but that snow will be loaded with water, providing a nice drink for the vegetation across the area. Certainly help to mitigate fire danger. Of course, your First Alert 5 team will have weather updates, and we'll take you hour by hour through the weekend just to keep everybody safe.